it takes time yep. right as you know right it takes time and there's a progression there but like it can be done by starting with one house yeah, that's so true. So you saw your parents do this thing. Do you do, do you do much of that today yourself or do you just stick with the more of the business side? Are you buying houses today? To yeah, to? so I, I have a personal portfolio, okay. um, mostly here in Nevada, um, but I also help my mom manage their portfolio. My dad passed in 2020 and okay. so um, I definitely help my mom quite yeah. a bit. I'm an only child, so yeah. <laughs> there's, I work for free, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, but no, of course, happy to do it. Um, and so they have a portfolio between Arizona and Nevada. Oh, very cool. All right. So let's talk about people who are just getting, because I want to talk entrepreneurship a little bit, because I know you've got more entrepreneurial ventures that you've got going. But before we get that, somebody who's listening to the show, they work at W2. Yeah. They love the idea of working for themselves. Now they could become a real estate agent. They could do some other business idea. They could own real estate. They could flip houses. Like what is your general recommendation if I were to come to you and say, hey, where do I start, Lisa? I'm, I'm stuck. Yeah, I think one of the easiest ways, if you have a good solid W-2 job, like the only reason I wish I still had a W-2 job is because you can so easily get a real estate loan, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. It's so easy yes. for the lenders to approve you for a real estate loan, for an investor loan. Yep. It's 20% down, right? When you have a nice, steady, cushy W-2 job with pay stubs. Yes. Um, so that would be, I think, the easiest segue of like, if you just want to simply diversify your income and assets, use your W-2 job to help you get a real estate loan, yep. buy a property. Use your W-2 job, that steady income that you're getting to help you fund a side hustle. Mm, and do not yeah. quit your job until you know that your side hustle is gonna work for you. I yeah. mean, everyone's got a different level of risk tolerance, but like there's there's something I think powerful in having a steady W-2 job that you can utilize as leverage into these other avenues. 100%, 100% agreed. Oh, when somebody's choosing what to get into, should they follow their passion or should they like something, they're, they, they love dance, should they go do something in the dance field or should they avoid their passion or something else in between? I think I've seen success across the board of, of all of those different examples, mm -hmm. but I do like, and I'm going to butcher this. I know Mark Cuban says um, something along the lines of like, don't follow your passion, follow your effort. Mm. And I like that simply because even with the cupcakes, right? Like I wasn't passionate about, I wasn't some fantastic home baker, Danielle yeah. was, but I wasn't passionate about baking. I didn't even know how to bake before we started the company, but I was like, that's a good idea. And, and I was genuinely excited about it. I was like, this is fun. Like yeah. I was genuinely excited about it. So that level of effort and enthusiasm was what got me to help start the company. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, if you're gonna be passionate about something, I mean, I don't, if you, let's say you love baking cakes, right? If you go start a business, you'll probably lose the passion. You'll probably hate it. Yeah, yeah, you'll hate end it. up hating it. Cause yeah. you end up doing a business where yep. you're working with customers and you're yep. dealing with people who don't like their order. Yep. Right. And you're like, I'm just trying to bake. Yeah. Right. So if you, instead you can make your passion. I read this in a book. I wish I remember which book it was so I could give credit, but it said, it said, you're not going to be passionate about that forever, but you will be passionate about money forever. 